Good day students, welcome to mathcodeserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our derivative collection. We're going to be focusing on how to find the derivative of y equals the square root of 3 minus 5x. Before we get started, we're going to refresh our memory on some important formulas that you need to know in order to successfully compute the derivative of the function presented earlier, okay? So let's go ahead and go over our formulas to recall. Alright, so the first formula that you have to remember um, to do this problem is the derivative of ax, the constant multiple formula. So the derivative of ax is just simply a, the coefficient of x. All right, this is a consequence of applying the power rule to x to the first power. That becomes 1 and you multiply it by the coefficient of x, which is a. Secondly, you need to know um, the derivative of the square root of x. The derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x. Now, you might wonder how is this possible? So you can memorize this rule if you don't remember this rule. You can always make use of the um, power rule in col collaboration with the um, properties of exponents in order to find the derivative of the square root of x. Okay, so let's go over that real quick. So let's say you have y equals the square root of x and you want to find the derivative. Okay, you can write this as a power. This is x to the one-half power, writing it as a rational exponent. Now to find the derivative of y, you just um, apply the power rule to x to the one-half. Okay? So x to the one-half prime. So to do that, you um, power down your power, 1 over 2, and then you mark down your power by 1 minus 1. Okay? So that is uh, one-half, x to the one-half minus 1 is negative one-half. And then we apply the reciprocal property of exponents. This can be expressed as 1 over 2 um, x to the 1 half. And then finally, you can write it as 1 over 2 root x. So you see the beauty of knowing this formula. Instead of going through all the steps, you can just jump directly to the final form. Okay, so this is a very important differentiation formula that you want to have mastered to facilitate your computation of the derivative of the square root functions. Another formula that you will need to know for this problem is the chain rule. Okay, that's the differentiation technique used to find the derivative of composite functions. So let's say we have f of g of x. If we want to find the derivative, we have to find the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and multiply that by the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so these are the formulas that we're going to be using to find the derivative of um, the problem presented earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and restate the problem. So if y equals the square root of 3 minus 5x, the task is to find find dy dx. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do it. So we have the composite function y equals the square root of 3 minus 5x. So um, we're going to apply the chain rule here. To apply the chain rule, we need to know what the outer and inner functions are, so we can proceed. Now let's go ahead and decompose the function. So we're going to call the outer function f of x. So f of x, the outer function is root x. So root x. And then the inner function is this linear function that we have right here. Okay. So the inner function, we're going to call that um, g of x. So g of x is um, 3 minus 5x. Okay, all right, so we're going to differentiate both. We have f prime of x, applying the formula for differentiating root x, we'll have 1 over 2 root x. 
and then the derivative of g, g prime of x, is um, if we apply the differentiation rules that we talked about earlier, derivative of a constant is just zero, zero derivative of negative 5x is just negative 5. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and rewrite what um, the chain rule is. So if we have a composite function, f uh, composed with g of x, okay, and we desire to find the derivative of that, <coughs> the chain rule formula says that you're just going to uh, compute uh, the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, okay, um, that multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're simply going to take the inner function g of x and plug it into the outer function and then multiply that result by the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so what will that look like? y prime is going to be um, going to color code it so you can see exactly what's going on first of all. So we have 1 over 2 root x. So 1 over 2 root x. But instead of putting down x, we're going to substitute g of x. Okay. g of x is 3 minus 5x. Alright, so this is f prime of g of x, the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is negative 5. If we simplify this answer, we're going to get y prime equals negative 5 over 2 root 5, I mean 3 minus 5x. Okay, so this is the derivative of the original function, y equals uh, square root of 3 minus 5x. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, the differentiation techniques, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments or requests um, for differentiation um, problems that you like to see us do and add to our collection, um, just um, Post it in the comment section below and we will be more than uh, glad to, to support you. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials and um, more differentiation collection problems. The entire collection and support resources can be found at mathgotserve.com. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.